Rated E10 for ages 10 and up. Sega. Hi, yeah. Okay, hi, my name's Ben Hebb. I'm the art director at Zoe Mode, Kuju's Brighton studio in the UK. I'm working on Crush. Okay, Crush is a 2D, 3D uh, puzzler, basically. It's a character-driven adventure game, um, and it is quite unique in its design mechanic, and it's quite distinct in its art style. It started to really pull together last uh, summer um, when we became involved with Sega and their creative team. Um, and it's when we really started looking at the split dynamic, which is the, the key sort of USP of the game, which is the, the move between 2D and 3D, and the kind of unique sort of shift in uh, abstract dimension. And that became basically from a, both a kind of theme, it became quite a, uh, odd and sort of unsettling, and that kind of motivated the change in art style from something really quite bright and colorful to something a little bit darker and more weird. Some of the, the biggest challenges in terms of, from an artistic point of view, for me were um, the, the move um, with the, creating the colours and the lights for uh, the block types within the game um, and the differentiation between foreground gameplay zone, really, in the middle where you're playing the game and the background and how that would actually work and create a kind of a visual sort of environment that you could put, you would know that this is your playing field essentially, and then the stuff going in the background was the background, and yet the foreground and background had to work together at the same time. Um, on top of that, there was the move between 2D and 3D. So I think one of the biggest challenges uh, that we, we spent ages playing with the jump between 2D and 3D in terms of turning off lighting, turning on lighting, bringing the background elements, darkening them down, having them on full, what you get now is basically, when you play the game, the backgrounds go right, almost go right down to black. You still get, you get a sort of a small sense that they're there, so you never forget where you are, but then they'll come back and it kind of just adds that whole feeling of moving to and from 2D and 3D. That sounds quite simple, but again, it took quite a long time to get where it is. It's, I think it's the natural progress. It's the same in many, many games. It actually looks quite simple, but it went through a number of kind of iterations to get where we were today. Um, one of the key, one of the great things, sort of evol evolutions for me graphically over the period of the project was the actual crush mechanic. Um, so it's a, it's a key thing, obviously, the big jump between 2D and 3D. Initially, that was done with a camera change, literal camera change between a perspective camera and an orthographic camera. As the project evolved, another kind of people were getting more enthused and kind of trying to work out a much cleverer way of doing it, which is actually what we've got now, which is a code solution, which is transforming the matrix. And basically what you see when you're playing the game now is you see it slide beautifully between 2D and 3D. And when I remember seeing that for the first time, and it was like this you know, real kind of that's it moment. I mean, there's a little effect over the top, but it was that transformation between 2D and 3D graphically. It was just like kind of like a eureka that's it, that's this game, we kind of nailed it now. <laughs>